Hey, Kevin, this is Alex with Diamond Digital Marketing. I wanted to produce this website review for you. Thanks for reaching out on Facebook. And in this video, we're going to cover a few things that you can do to really improve your rankings on Google. I'll keep it short. I know you're busy and I don't want to waste your time. So feel free and take these tips and put them to use. And I look forward to following up with you and getting your thoughts. All right, we're going to cover those three things, content, citations, and backlinks. We always like to start with content first because with Google, content is king. And we've got your website pulled up here. It's a great looking website, but there's not a lot of content here on this front page. There's about 500, 600 words. And we really recommend having about 1,500 to 2,000 words on this homepage and about 500 to 750 on the back pages. And the reason for this is you need authoritative and unique content that's relevant to your industry with keywords and locations. So for example, when someone's typing in uh, epoxy floors in Fort Wayne, Google's really looking to send that search to a website that's relevant. These are buyer intent keywords, and these are the ones that you really want to focus on. Pulling up your competition here, this is Dancer Concrete Design. Decent looking website, a couple hundred words of content, but you can easily outrank them. Over here, Decorative, decorative Concrete, they don't have much written content at all. They're just using pictures, which you can tag the pictures in, but it's really, really beneficial to have the, the unique content with keywords in there. Now over here, this is epoxyflooringfortwayne.com. This is actually a lead generating website. Someone in my industry built this and is renting it out and sending the leads out to someone in your industry. Uh, this means there's quite a bit of traffic coming for, for your industry in your location. So um, it's probably beneficial to whoever is ranking this or renting this and getting the leads from them. Now going over here to a tool we like to use called Ahrefs. This lets us see what's working well for websites and what's not. And we can see here, um, you've got 71 organic keywords and nine organic clicks coming per month to your website. Over here at Dancer, 1300 keywords and 92 clicks a month to their website. Um, over here at, uh, at Concrete Deco Fort Wayne, 819 keywords and almost 300 clicks a month to their website. This um, lead generating website is, has 281 keywords, but it's not getting much traffic yet. It's kind of new. Um, it hasn't been on here too long. I think, uh, let's see here. Uh, yeah, it's about a year, year and a half old. So I'm um, still gaining traction there. But again, you want to go in here and see uh, which keywords your competition is ranking for and use the keywords that are specific to your industry, but with your location on there. So maybe type in like Fort Wayne in here and see exactly what they're ranking for here. Give me a second. Stamp Concrete Fort Wayne. That gets searched for 60 times a month. It's got a keyword difficulty of two, so it's not difficult to rank for at all. They're in the third position, getting seven clicks a month there. Concrete Fort Wayne, Indiana. Uh, concrete Contractors. So they, these get searched. This is the amount of searches per month for these. Flooring Fort Wayne, 200 searches a month. A little bit more difficult to rank for but you can still start generating some traffic on there. The next thing that we want to cover here is citations. And whenever you type those buyer intent keywords into a Google search, what you'll see first here is some Google ads or a pay-per-click. And people are paying to be at the top here. Every time someone clicks one of these, it depletes the budget they've got there for the month. So the next area that you have here, this is called the Google Map Pack or GMB. And what gets you into here are citations. That's your business's name, address, and phone number listed the same across the web in different directories on places like yellowpages.com, CityStar, Yelp, BBB, Yext. There's hundreds of them out there and it's not hard to get listed on them. It's just tedious and time consuming work. This is another tool we use for research on citations. This is called WhiteSpark. And we've got uh, your citations here. Let's us see how many you've got. Supreme's got 19. Epoxy Flooring Fort Wayne's got 30 and Wagner Epoxy's got 13. So what you want to do is go in here and see which directories your competition is getting listed at. Go after all of those and then about 100 more so that they can't catch up and you're staying atop of this map pack. And the last element we want to cover is backlinks. And backlinks are links from any other websites pointing back to your website. And it's kind of like a popularity contest with Google. The more backlinks you have pointing back at you, the more relevant your website is. But not all backlinks are created equal. You want them to be relevant content to yours. You don't necessarily want to have a backlink at a catering company, for example. So we could tell here you've got 389 backlinks. Over here at Dancer, 809. 
uh, decorative concrete 618 um, and epoxy flooring 390. So uh, you can actually do a little bit of work here and see where your competition is getting listed at. Go after sites that are just as powerful as these, if not more, and then a bunch more so that you they really can't catch up. Sometimes directories will create backlinks to your websites. Uh, commenting on blogs with content that's relevant to your industry will create backlinks to your website. And asking friends to link back from their sites will help as well. So in closing, we kind of want to recap what we went over here. Content, you're really looking for a thousand to fifteen hundred words of content with those keywords with locations incorporated into this home page 500 and 750 words on the back pages over here citations you want to go in here and get into all the directories that your competition is in and then a bunch more so like a hundred more so they can't catch up and they don't know what hit them and you're staying atop of this map pack and backlinks you want to go in here and see where your competition is getting links from go after all of those and a bunch more so again they can't catch up and you're you're ranking organically at the top and if you implement these three strategies you're most definitely start outranking the competition on google i hope that you found this video informative and i look forward to following up with you to see if you'd like to get more information on how we can help grow your business with these strategies and start taking some business back from dancer and from decorative concrete all right thanks kevin